Hey, it's Jazz from Jazz's Corner, uh, coming to you from Claremont, New Hampshire. And uh, <clears throat> a couple of years ago, I was uh, thinking about uh, what was more like a, a joke with my family and friends about uh, running for president of the United States. I actually did a video and I, I did a I did some work on it. So there's a couple of videos already there uh, about that a couple of years ago. So. But we all talked, we had uh, conversations about different things of what my ideas and they retorted back with their opinions and what they thought I was either being completely stupid about or, you know, not really paying attention. And so after all that, I thought and I've, I decided to put down a, a list of things that I would actually do if I was the president of the United States. So. This video is going to be what I would do if I were President of the United States. One, I definitely would probably be scared. A little bit scared because that's, that's, that's a big thing to do as far as being President of the United States because you're on, in the spotlight on the world, international, everybody. Well, you know what's going on right now with the Trump guy. So anyways, yeah, be scared. But I definitely take the position a little bit more seriously than, than what he's doing. Although, there's a couple of things that he's done that I've actually been kind of surprised about. Like today, uh, I heard about that he let the Afghan uh, girls, that robot, the robotics team, come here to the United States to compete. That's awesome, and uh, I can't I can't say anything bad about that. So, let me get onto my list real quick because I don't want to make this a huge friggin' list or a long video. Corporate regulations. I would definitely like to get really into that, but I would you know basically any job that was here in the United States, I would actually find a company for moving it outside the United States. It just it it makes sense to me. Um, anytime a, uh, a company lays off a lot of people, yeah, they're going to be charged some fines there. Uh, and then there's tariffs and, and uh, fees for foreign companies, domestic companies, foreign companies doing business importing in from, uh, products and services here in the United States. I, I really believe they should be here in the United States. One, it's a lot easier, it makes more sense. Uh, and also domestics. If you take your, if a company takes their manufacturing pr and goes it to another country, and then they import those products that are made in another country, wrong answer. Um, I would immediately raise the minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour. It makes sense. It's the right thing to do. If you don't agree with me, I don't care. You don't have enough Im information, and it doesn't matter how much economic information and, and evidence to support a living wage, and you're not going to listen to me. So, anyways, if I was the President of the United States, automatically $15, all 50 states. Um, CEOs, yeah, we'll have to cap your salary. Um, and also, we're going to uh, connect your salary to the lowest person in your company. So if you're doing well, lowest person better be doing well. Or, as I see it, the bottom people are doing extremely well and you will reap the rewards of what they do because that's what you do. They do the job and you take the money. Because you're not telling them how to build a car. I don't think so. You're not standing above behind them, you know, saying, hey, listen, make sure you put that bolt and make sure you tighten it. You know, get your torque wrench. No, CEOs aren't putting together any cars. Moving on. Um, subsidizing small business. We need to take care of the small business. That's where that is. We have more small business than large corporations. It's it's a fact. We need to take care of our communities because that's where it matters. Taking care of the communities, wherever you live in, if you live in Claremont, New Hampshire, 
you need to be able to be okay in Claremont, New Hampshire. Uniform tax policy. Taxes are, will give you a headache trying to figure this shit out. But the fact is, is that a flat tax rate across the board for everybody, it just makes sense. And everybody pays their equal share. Hello? Too easy. I want to eliminate subsidizing, subsidizing of corporations. They don't need it. Multi-billion, multi-trillion dollar business, you don't need the government to subsidize you. Local unions, support local unions. Large unions, they're too big. They're not, they don't care about the people they take care of anymore. They're worried about themselves. And they're worrying about how they can make money by getting money to not do the right thing. So that's basically, if I were to put a tone on this particular video, aside from what if I were president of the United States, it would be do the right thing. Do the right thing. Right? Sometimes it's not easy to do the right thing, but that's what we're trying to do. Do the right thing. Okay. Labor unions, they need to take care of their people. Eliminating welfare programs. Actually, I've been thinking about this a little bit more because I was paying attention, I was reading up on a, an experiment of a, um, I don't know if it was a, a city or a country or I can't remember right now, but where people are automatically given a, an annual salary without having to work a job. So they have money, they can use it for whatever they need it for, and then after that, that's it. Well, what would a person do if they had like $3,000 a month and they didn't have to worry, you know, if they paid their bills, what would they do? Would they work on their education? Would they be more innovative? Would they have new ideas? Would they, you know, strive for excellence? I, I, know, I think that's a good idea. All right. Social Security. Reestablishing the program, put the money back into the program, and then have it dispersed to everybody that's on Social Security to allow them to take care of themselves. For people that if they, they can't pay their bills with the only check that they're getting every month, because we know today, pensions, not there, and a lot of people that are working uh, you know, minimum wage jobs do not get pensions. So yeah, Social Security will take care of that, just like FDR wanted to do it in the beginning. Banking regulations. First thing, break up the big banks. They need to be broken up. For a bank to be too big to fail, wrong answer. So we're going to be breaking them up. Break up the big banks and we're going to regulate the hell out of them. Because when you got people that are greedy assholes, Greedy assholes, okay, greedy people. They need to be regulated. And they need to be held accountable, too, for their decisions and actions. Um, the use of technology for voting, elections, legislation, justice, it's there. I think we can make it available and, and really you start using it, rather than having to go to polls and stuff. But... I'm sure, uh, I mean, that's just an idea. I don't know, yeah, just an idea. Um, deregulation of the family unit. I think parents should be able to take care and police up their children. You know, it just makes sense. And it was like that back in the, the from the very beginning, families took care of their own. If, they, if, if their child did something wrong, they took care of their child. So I think uh, we need to give back some of that, that ability. NASA. I love NASA. But because of all their... Uh, all the money that they've been taking, you know, that you know, their budget's been shut down, literally, to almost non-existing. -ex non 
So we're going to bring back to NASA, back to full operation, and even more past that. I believe we went to the moon in the 1960s. It's 2017. We should have a moon base by now. Pure and simple. We should be doing, we should be doing awesome stuff. And we're not. So that's one thing I'm going to be pushing. A moon base. Then, of course, we need to establish a new you know, orbiting space station, one that is much more effective, efficient. We need to start working on newer technologies, you know, because, in fact, once we start going out, you know, intersolar travel, we're going to need space stations at Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. It only makes sense. Because when you're going down the highway and you run out of gas, you need to get a, you go to a place that's got gas. It makes sense. Plus, it will make intersolar system travel a lot more easier and a lot less frightening. So, yeah, we need to start doing that. We really, we really do. And who gives a crap about money? Deep sea exploration. We're not doing anything. So I think we need to start focusing there. And I'm sure new technologies will be able to be generated just from that alone. Um, clean energy. Recycle. Reuse. Renew. Come on. It's 2017, not the 1800s. We need to stop using the fossil fuels. We need to start, we need to start acting like grown-ups. The second Bill of Rights, which I, I strongly believe can be adapted to our times right now. Because if FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, was awesome. He had some really good ideas. Even though, you know, what he said back then, we can take it and adapt it. I think it'll work. I, I know it'll work. Medicare. No restrictions on Medicare availability. Everybody here in the United States with a Social Security number qualifies for Medicare. Now sure, if you want to opt and get your own personal health insurance, go right ahead. But you don't have to. I just want to let you know. That would kind of make uh, the insurance companies a little bit more competitive, don't you think? And the, yeah, the big ones, I think they may need to be uh, split up as well. Uh, I'm not a big fan of politics in, in government because really it doesn't deserve it. The whole, you give me, you do a, uh, you know, I help you, you help me behind closed doors, doesn't work. I don't think it's worked ever. Um, the political parties, way too polarization. They, you know, it, it puts people at odds and, and really does a really bad, bad thing. I think we need to get rid of these political parties. I think anybody with a social security number of the United States, if they want to public serve, you know, for public service, for government, I believe they should be able to. Whether or not they were born here. If they did everything they needed to do to become a naturalized citizen, they should be available. They should be able to do what they want to do. Drugs. Legalization of all drugs gets regulated. Too easy. Too easy. And right there you have a, a, you know, several different products that can be taxed. And it makes sense. We already have alcohol, states are legalizing marijuana. Hello, too easy. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. But on another note, uh, one more note, education. I think we need to get rid of the National Education Organization. I think each state should take control of their education system. And I think every state should make it their number one priority to be the best education system in the United States and in the entire world. 
I'd like to see all 50 states competing against each other on every single educational level. I think it can happen. And I think it would kind of, you know, force us, at least here in the, in the United States, in the U.S., to grow up a little bit more. So, that's my list of things that I would like to do if I was President of the United States. If you agree, that's great. If you don't agree, I understand, you know. Um, but feel free to comment. F feel free to subscribe. And as always, be awesome and be safe out there.